What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at Crystal Mountain, the Mountain Ridge course in Thompsonville, Michigan. This place looks awesome. And I've got a special guest, the assistant pro here, Brandon. We're gonna be trying to shoot 59, trying to take it low as a two ball scramble. So we'll both hit the tee shots, pick the best till the balls hold. This is gonna be fun. This is part one in the front nine. I think we can do it. I Brandon can, said man. that this is a scorable course and this would be the first time to shoot 59 in a two ball scramble. Let's let it fly. Pretty straight away par four, 407. I don't know if you can see the very tip top of the red flag there. We're gonna be playing it down the right side. It's kind of tight, but our target aiming point is gonna be right in there. So what are you hitting here, first tee? A driver, absolutely. Tee high, let it fly, let's That's go. That's right, let's go. Whew. If you hit driver like that today, we've got a really good shot at we 59. Shot. Great ball. Down the left side, I think uh, Brandon's gonna be the one we're going with there. That one's probably in the rough. Brandon is in great shape here. I was right over there in the rough, was playable, but when you got this for your partner, this is definitely the one we're going with. 90 yards, pin set up front right. I'm go with like a little spinner, a little 60 degree, flighted. It drifts a little left. That could be really nice. Oh, great shot. So you didn't even need my help on this all, it doesn't look like. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So Brandon's right. going to play this hole by himself here. You got to take care of the course, no matter how bad the shot was. But when you got a partner like Brandon, <laughs> we're all good. Landed right there, hop forward just a bit. Got about eight feet here, and we've got a little audience right here. I've got a handful of geese. You wanna come read the putt for me, sir? Yeah. Oh, what a good putt. Good roll. Wow. All right, so par's in the bag. Just hit it right through the break. All right. All right. All right. Off of par. par on the first. Definitely wanted to start off with the birdie. However, and with the par level through one or on number two, cool down the hill par three, 138. We're not playing the far back box because I wanted to be able to see the surface of the green so we could show y'all the ball down. And you never know if uh, catch a hole in one on camera, that'd be fun. What club you going with here, sir? Pitching wedge, sir. Very nice. What clubs you got? I got the Callaway Apex Pros. Ooh, those are nice. Yeah, they're in good shape. Come off hot. What kind of shaft are we're, you playing? We're playing an Aerotech steel fiber, 110 stiff, which is kind of in between a stiff and an extra stiff with that composite shaft. Okay, so, you like it? I do, yeah. It gives me a little bit higher ball flight, a little bit better spin control, so hopefully that'll result to a hole in one here. Stay right there. Yep, that's off to the right. A little right. Caught her a little too good off to the right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the gap wedge here. Probably play it around 135, maybe even a little less. We think the wind is pushing hard right. I think that wind is definitely pushing harder right than we thought. I think you're right. I actually hit that pretty good, but that uh, trundled into the bunker. So I just picked mine up out of the bunker right down there. We've got a lot of grain to work with and a pretty straightforward chip where Brandon's is. So 
I think this is the one we're going with. That was well played. It was definitely better than the camera work, the shot. <laughs> camera work, subpar right there, <laughs> so not great. Saddle. These grains are rolling smooth, very quick. Very nice, I like that. Hit those shorter putts, firm, firm. back of the cup, take out the break. Absolutely. I think that a lot of people could learn something from that. Especially right within two and a half feet, you know, take everything away from it. You got this much to work with. Just keep the face square, you'll make more putts. I like it. With how firm Brandon just hit that putt, I don't think we're in worry of him breaking the one rule in a scramble, leaving a putt short. Looks like he's a pretty aggressive putter, which you love to see in scrambles. We're on number three, we are level par through two, par four, 386. So what's our target here? Target is right in that split in the tree, right in the center portion, right? Okay. You split that tree in half, that's our, that's our uh, target line. If you could throw in a five yard cut, even better. Nice. Was hit about as straight as you can hit it. Should be fine. Still in play. Yep. Oh, if that clears all the trees, Zach is going to be sitting pretty. I didn't hear anything. Since you were in good shape, I took a very aggressive line. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Out. We'll see. We are in great shape right here. Basically took it direct in line with the green. There's the flag. Lots of green to work with. Lots of green to work with. Slope's gonna go right to left. We got a ridge to work with on our favor to bring that ball a little bit slower into the hole. Ooh, that could be nice. Settle, oh, settle, sick. settle. All right, we got a putt at it. That landed a lot firmer than I thought it was yeah, going to. I thought to. I was going to check a little bit more. I think I caught it a little bit heavy, but what can you do? Kind of similar situation. Took a big first kick and just did not want to grab. I know. I really thought that that one was going to check a little bit, but we got a putt for bird. We do. All righty, not too bad. I'm on the right, Brandon on the left. Those just landed a little firmer than we anticipated. Just one big hop before we got any checkup, which was a little bit larger than we anticipated, so. And we need a bird. We gotta get this in. Oh, there's my firmness. Yours dove a little bit harder than mine. Knock it in. We are gonna make a birdie for y'all at some point. Don't you worry, even through three. Let us know below what you think we're gonna shoot. We are level through three. I think for the full 18, we're gonna shoot 10 to 13 under. That's my guesstimation. I know we haven't started off very hot. Well, not hot at all. But there are birds coming, don't you worry. We're on a number four, par four, 417. Doesn't get much straighter than that. And I don't see a reason not to hit driver right back into the wind. Heading down the left side. Gotta get a kick. Hit that tree and kick straight down. Yep. It's in play. Lucky than good sometimes. <laughs> Gotta sit a little bit, get a kick, get a kick. Oh, might have got it. All right, we're both flirting down that left side. So mine was right up there, like just into the taller stuff, and these trees were kind of blocking us out. So we're back here. At Brandon's ball, this is definitely the better option of the two because we've got a straight angle at the green. What's our distance here? 172. 
172 into the wind. I'm probably going. I'm, I'm thinking. You think it's like a 180 shot? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, just a nice high cut seven iron. Here. Like it. That is exactly what he did. Yes, Looks really good. Stay right there. Oh, I think it's a little a bit short. More breeze than I, think. I think there's a lot of wind up there. I striped that one. Thought it was all over it. All right, I'm gonna go with the seven iron here. Probably play this closer to 190. Same thing. I hit that so pure and it's like fringe. I thought we just stuffed it right there. I hit it good, it's a little short. Both of us hit them well. I am right there, bringing in just a little further back. But we were really both happy with those swings. That wind was just, just ripping up above the trees. what happens when you get in these trees and everything just swirls. I even had a little backspin. You can see the pitch mark right there. Hop back about a foot. Oh, Zach, we got an issue. No <laughs> birdies. We're off the green. We got to change something up. I think we should change up the order. I'm down. Okay. Let's do it. Just a little firm. It's a good line. Just yeah, a little firm. A little firm. I like it. I like it. I like it. Stretch. Oh, <laughs> oh good roll. I just can't buy one. We cannot. We will get a birdie at some point. Have you tap that in for us? Level par through four. That is not great in a scramble, sir. It's not. We're gonna get it going. We gotta get something going. We're hoping to make some birdies for y'all. We're 0 for 4 through 4, and a really good par 3 here, number 5. Down the hill, par 3, 202, right back into the wind. I'm pitting set all the way back. What club are you going with here? I'm going to go with the high cut 4 iron, just because we're into this wind. Um, the yeah. cut's going to lead me out to the uh, more of the center, just for a safe sound, but we'll see what happens. It's heading right. Nice club drop. Catch behind the back situation, you know. I'm gonna go with the five here. I think it's playing like 215. Well, I'm gonna have to agree with Zach based on that result. Looked like 215 all day. <laughs> we'll take that all day long right there. That's kind of the first thumbs up I've felt that I've had today. Now that is what I'm talking about. We've got about, I don't know, eight or nine feet here for birdie. Wouldn't think that this par three would be our best shot at a birdie through five holes, but we've got a good look here. Let's see if we can't get this thing hot. Got him in the door, let's go. That was huge One for the down. team morale. <laughs> we had to get that going. I did not think this would be the first birdie of the day. In slammer here on five. That was just huge, huge for the team morale. Absolutely love to see it. We are one under through five and in great shape. We've got some par fives ahead. It was just a matter of time before the putter got hot. Exactly, we're just getting started. That's right. First par five of the day, little dog leg to the left. You wanna keep it just inside the tree line on the left there, 541 yards. Oh, that is absolutely primo line. Get a big hop. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, if that gets through it, it is primo. Get through it. Oh, catch the dry pan. Dude, I don't know. It's going to be tight. like it like ducked and like scooted. We'll have to see. I don't know. We'll see. What do we do? So we've got Brandon right here, and mine didn't quite scoot as much as we both thought. I'm right here. We would have to hit something like low cutting. I don't think mine is the play, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick mine up, and we are gonna go yeah, with Brandon's back right here. here. 263. We definitely didn't come here to lay up. No, we're trying to score. We're going for it all day. I came out knuckly. Came out super knuckly. 
and perfect and knuckly perfect oh dude i thought it was gonna hop left i think it just scooted off into the right fringe yeah dude that was a great shot i think you're inside 30 feet to the hole yeah we'll see when we get up there Hopefully. i feel like i'm closer but <laughs> Just a bit left, struck it well. Yeah. Just landed just a bit left with these firm greens. It's gonna shoot. Hit it well. So I'm walking back here and we just trundled off the back edge, just past pin high. There is a severe slope here. I think we're gonna go with Brandon's. His is a lot straighter look. It's a little further, but not much. And it's uphill. I think we go with yours. Go, go. Go, go. That was a great line. Come on, Sally. Settle. All right. Though, well, that gives us a good look at birdie there, Zach. Off to a slow start, but we have come on strong here in the second half That's on the two front. Back to back. Let's go. Let's go. The pin's going to be slamming the rest of the day. All day. 200 through six, birdies are starting to flow right now. We're on number seven, par four, 402. This is one of the more difficult holes out here at the Mountain Ridge course. It really tightens up, but this being a scramble, I think we're both teeing it high, letting it fly. Brandon, really appreciate you having me out. This is a sweet little course y'all got here. It is, it's in the middle of nowhere. We kind of have our own little village out here, so it's great when we get some, uh, some notice like this from Zach and, uh, have some fun while doing it. Absolutely. Y'all drop a like down below if you enjoy these traveling course vlogs. Greatly appreciate it. That's another good drive right there. Good ball. Down the middle. <laughs> Absolutely. And Zach just out drove me by 25 yards. <laughs> I did that one really good. <laughs> that was piped. Thanks. Well, I gave it the thumbs up, and we did end up in the rough. However, we only have 58 yards left, and you hit a very good ball as well. I did. It just happened to be a lot further away from the pin. You know, Zach just hit the hard pan and kept going. Oh, does he like it? Hit it. Oh. Still pretty good. Told myself, make sure to keep it down, and I did not. Take a lesson from me. Make sure you hit it below the tree. Oh, dude, Zach, I good wanted that roll. one. I know. I, that I one. saw the early point. That away, bud. That, that away. was huge. That was huge. Let's go. Let's keep that streak going. I think it's Zach's turn to do the old boom. Stop. Three under, let's go. Thankfully, Brandon missed the tree back there on the approach and left us with a great birdie look. Made the putt there, three under through seven. We're on number eight, part four, 364. So pretty straight away, Brandon said, if you hit it really, really good, you right might get up there. People on the right side should kick down left right onto that green. Keep turning just a little. Get a kick. Oh, there it was. That's exactly the kick he was talking about. That should be money. Great ball. Oh, no. Brandon in here, 74 yards. Love to see it. You have definitely freed me up going second because all your tee shots have been pretty quality today. Tee ball has been good. It's in play and we we got a shot. Absolutely. Leave Zach to get after one every case of time. Let's go. Oh, no. Trundle. Ah. I hit it how I wanted to, just jump. Release. A little heavy. We got a chance for a birdie though. 
let's just keep the putts rolling. in the bag. Well, that is no joke on the pace. That's why it's dead in the heart every single time. So we are three under, one to play here in the front nine. We're looking for a big eagle here. We Get are. us down to five. That would be nice. That would be huge. Brandon said this is a very difficult par five. Bends to the left, very tight driving hole. Ah. Easy, easy. Right. It didn't really hit anything hard. I no, might have seen it kick out. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the position you want to be. So this is right back into the wind. The wind is really picking up. We've got 260 left. Pin tuck back right. We got to yeah. go with a nice cut here to get that ball to be rolling up towards that pin. I like it. That was hit well. Just left of the flag. Hopped up there. It is tracking. I think we've got an eagle look. That's gonna be tight. Nice. Oh, get a kick. Oh, and he got it. Let's see if it'll trundle. We got some options up there. So walking up here from the back side of the green, here is Brandon right here. He just trundled through the green, just missing the flag. Mine is right there, like pin high putting, putting up over this ridge here. Brandon, what are you thinking? This is a tough one. Do we want to go with a flag stick or do we want to take a little chip and some deep rough against the green? You're talking the chip down with those last two comments. I like the butt. Okay. <laughs> oh, what a good roll. Great roll. <laughs> I went with a little different route and left it short and what's the one rule in a scramble don't leave it short however that is a pin slammer here on nine finish at four under here at mountain ridge at the crystal mountain resort that was so much fun hope you all enjoy coming along stay tuned for the back nine see if we can shoot 59 would need to shoot nine under on the back to do it but i do think it's possible as for me brandon crystal mountain resort see you when we see you peace